So what we're going to do now is put our sidebars on the edge of the building. Um, so first of all, let's load in the type of beam that we want. OK, so I'm going to do a very similar thing that I did before. So we want structural framing, uh, steel, our British standard for me. And I'm going to do again the parallel flange channels. And I'm going to pick a smaller one than I did before because I don't think it's going to need to be as big. So I'm just going to go for a little 100 mil one by there and I'll use that. All right. So now uh, escape out of the beam command and do a beam system. OK, so I'm just going to rotate this this way a little bit. Beam system and set the plane. So we want to pick the plane that we're going to do it on. And now I point at the edge of one of these beams so it shows me that face. Then we got the boundary line. OK, so I'm going to zoom in a bit by here and get that in the middle of that beam or that column. And I'm going to put this. It's not going to be in the middle. I'll deliberately offset it. And then I'll go across to the elevation that looks at that. And I will just click on it and grab it to the center. There we go. So now it's centered on both of those. Let's do the beam direction. Make sure they go in the correct way. OK, now we'll check through our properties. So fixed distance or fixed number, as we did with the roof purlins. I'm going to set these ones at 900, justification centered, beam type. I'm going to load in the new ones I've just done. So that's the 100 mils. OK, so let's press the tick. And we can see those loaded in by there. Now, there's a couple little things we just want to look out for. First of all, are they the right way up? Now, as you can see, these ones are the correct way up for what I want. But let's say they're not. You can click on that and you can change the orientation to horizontal and you'll see they flip the other way. OK, but I'll just put that back to normal. So what we do have, though, is they're not on the outer face. So I'm just going to hold the control button and just multi select these. And because they're 100 millimeters in size, I'll go to the Z offset and put that at 100 and apply. And they're now on the outer face. OK, let's go back to the south elevation, change the reference plane to there. And that's there. And then we will click on those again and repeat that, change the reference plane to that line. And now they're across to there. So there are our um, sidebars, OK, or railings. All right. So the next thing would be to put some connections on them or some bolts through there. So we'll just stop this video by here and then move on to that.